Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden project. So today we are going to be talking about tulips. Spring bulbs here in the South, I'm zone 8B, Southern Alabama, are not, uh, they're not year round plant one, they multiply, they're beautiful, they're great, you leave them, you never touch them again kind of things. Here we do not get enough cold time to leave our spring bulbs like tulips, even some daffodils in the ground. They have to be dug up every single summer in either toss, treated like annuals, you can just pull out the foliage if you wanna do that, or if you want to recycle your tulips, you need to leave them in the ground until they die all the way back. Here in my area, if I do that, uh, the humidity gets them. They also don't like to be too moist. Hate that word. So what I do is once the blooms have fallen off, I dig them up, getting the bulb, the entire leaf, and I put the entire thing on my porch in a bucket, just a big bucket of tulip uh, leaves and bulbs, and I leave them in the sun to absorb as much sun as possible. Once the leaves have withered away and they are done, then I take them, I clean them up so they're just bulbs. I put them in a dry clean, uh, like cardboard kind of bag or box, and I put them in a storage place. This does not have to be a, a fancy place for me. It is a shelf in my laundry room, and I store them in until it is time to put them in the fridge for cold time and then replant them. That's a lot of work. So if you don't want to do that, that's why a lot of people do treat their bulbs as annuals. They buy new pre-chilled bulbs every single spring. Me, while I would love to treat my bulbs as annuals, toss them, buy new ones, I cannot necessarily afford that expense. And so last year I left half of my bulbs in the ground to see if they would get enough uh, cold time. Some bulbs will and rebloom or if I would need to pull them and show them to get them to bulb. It's a bulb to flower the following year. As you can see, I marked all of the bulbs that came up of their own accord with a red flag to see if they would flower and none of them did. So this year I am digging every single bulb. I'm going to be leaving them on my porch and then putting them in the fridge for cold time. Do a whole video on chilling your bulbs to force them to flower. But essentially for tulips, you want six to eight weeks of cold time. So I'll put them in uh, about December, October, I don't remember, so that I can plant them early January to flower for us here in the spring. Today, I'm doing garden maintenance, so I'm weeding, working on getting leaves out of my flower beds so I can compost, and I'm pulling tulips. So let's get to work. I've got a lot to do. Some bulbs come up really easily attached to the leaves and some don't. If it is an area that I don't have a lot of plants, I'll dig for that bulb. It's down there. But in areas like this where I have a lot of sweet alyssum direct seeded, I don't want to disturb the ground too much. So I'm just going to leave that bulb for next year. It'll probably come up. I will pull weeds while I'm down here, but I don't want to pull the sweet alyssum seeds. So just the ones I know are weeds. Like these babies. <laughs>
can tell when you start to dig if the soil feels tight around the bulb or loose, whether it's attached. If it feels really loose, you probably just have the leaves. You can try to see if you can feel that bulb under there. If you feel tight soil, it's probably tight around the bulb. And your best bet is to kind of move your shovel until it doesn't feel as tight and then dig so that you don't uh, risk damaging the bulb or cutting it in half. Sugar, where's my little doggy? Well, there she is. False alarm. She's in the shape. One, two, three, four, five, six bulbs. One, two, three, four, five. No bulbs. So half and half. This is why you typically want to do it pretty soon after the flowers fall off while the bulbs are still firmly attached to the leaves. If you wait longer, it's been a couple weeks for me since I was just on my trip, you're going to start losing bulbs as the leaves start to die back.
not all bulbs are the same. So some bulbs like muscari here actually will get enough cold time to come up to multiply and to rebloom for us here in the south. So instead of pulling these, I am simply going to follow the blooms all the way back and deadhead them so that instead of spinning energy, setting seed, they can put their energy into the bulb for next year and for making new blooms on these plants for the next season. Similarly, ranunculus corms are spring flowering plants that do really well in our zone. You can see that you plant the corms in the fall and in the spring, these beautiful ruffly plants come up and they bloom. For us, they will bloom every year, giving us lots of buds. So we do not need to pull these. We do not need to chill them. When the flowers have spent, we will simply come down to where we do not see any more buds and deadhead that bud. We're gonna do this one halfway because he still has leaves and may set more buds. If we keep them deadheaded, they will continue to produce some new buds, though the plants do typically produce the most buds at the beginning of the season. Any plant that comes up, blooms, multiplies, and doesn't need a lot of work, well, that's a good plant in my book. All right, so you can see we have cleaned out this entire garden bed of tulips. You have deadheaded the muscari. Oh, I apparently missed three. So we have deadheaded all but three muscari. <laughs> and all the way up to here. So I still have plenty of tulips to take care of. But we got quite a bit done today. Two thirds of the tulips that I was able to pull still have bulbs attached to the leaves. So I'm simply going to set that container up on the porch where the leaves can keep accepting the sun, feeding the bulbs, and then I can uh, clean the leaves off, put just the bulbs and a cardboard bag. That's not the right word, but you know what I mean, like a paper bag and a paper bag and put them up until it's time to put them in the fridge and get cold for next year. So. This is always a long process, but it's kind of nice because in addition to pulling the tulips, I get a lot weeded during this process. So it's kind of a two for one. And then I don't have to just weed. I hate just weeding by itself. I'm not sure why, but either way, I hope if you are in an area where the tulips will not come back for you and they need that cold period, this is helpful. I have heard of this process before, but I've never seen it done fully. So I just wanted to pop in and share what I've learned and what has worked to have beautiful tulips for me year after year. I'm going to go ahead. I have a, I have a lot more to, to plant and to pull and to weed. So gardening is, is a never ending process. Let's keep working on it.